Hello friends, welcome back to another episode here on the channel. I hope you're all doing great and for anyone new to the channel, as always, my name is Lee, also known as Osiris. In today's episode, we are going into week two of the X9 Draft League. Obviously, we are going against Jin, and I do feel like the matchup is pretty hard this week. Obviously, I'm worried about a bunch of things. Sableye, the Araquanid, uh, he's got a pretty solid Trick Room mod with that Delmise as well. So there's a lot of issues there that can cause us problems we've obviously got decent ish answers to them but we've got to play it very carefully some hope in the build in uh today's games comes through and puts us on an even playing field going into week three because we're, we're currently zero one after losing to polka alex last week which was a little bit unfortunate not the best of starts for us but i'm still feeling confident and uh, feel like we can get into it so just going to hook up with Jin now and we'll get straight into our first game. Locking in with ours. Hopefully it works out. I'm worried about Rain Dan Sableye um, and of course the Araquanid is very scary. And hopefully the, the, the Scarf Charizard kind of pays off for us. I think mainly we want to be maxing our Iperia. Okay, we've got, yeah, the classic, uh, the Araquanid, Sableye, the Raw Tim Heat, Metagross, P2 and Salamence, all the stuff that I thought he'd kind of bring and uh, all the stuff that kind of scares me. Okay. Um, except the Feromos is not there, which makes it a little bit, I guess, um, a little bit easier in, in some ways. Now, I need to shut down that, that Sableye early doors because I think... Do I go quite passive and like quite like just just kind of try some stuff early on? Um, Scrafty Mimikyu, that's the lead that we're going to go for. The other option we've got is obviously just going Venu and Mimikyu, and then we could maybe we've got the option then to switch in something like oh, Venu is not bad for the residual damage, but it's not great either. Uh, I think I need Trick Room. Like completely honest, I need Trick Room in here. Um, I might just go hard trick room here and then forget about forget about the um, the Venusaur for this one because it was never really the plan it was never the plan to go with like the Charizard of Venusaur as our Maximons anyway they were kind of just there as, as options because we got them right um, I think it's all about Rhyperia in this match I'm completely honest and I do worry about like obviously we've got the the Lumberry there to stop the Sableye burning us because that's one thing that can really slow us down. Okay, immense Sableye. That's not bad. We can pass around these uh, Intimidates, which is fine. And we got the Fake Out, of course, as well, which is which is useful. Now, Scrafty in a little bit of an awkward spot. Um, but we could... The part of me that kind of thinks, do we just Trick Room and Taunt, or do we Trick Room and just switch straight into... Um, no, I'm going to Trick Room, right? I'm going to Trick Room, and I'm going to Taunt into the Sableye. Because I need to shut that down. I can't allow that. Like, before we get Rhyperia, we need to shut that thing down. We need to stop it from getting the rain up for the Araquanid. And we need to stop it just chucking around uh, Will-O-Wisps, which is going to be annoying, like, if it goes for the Will-O-Wisp into to Scrafty right now. Kind of prefer to see it potentially go into something like uh, Mimikyu. Mimikyu, but we could see Taunt as well, you know? Yeah, uh, that's not ideal. That's not ideal. So shutting down our Trick Room option, which, yeah, it's not great, but at least we can stop the Sableye for a turn. Uh, now he cycled his Intimidate out, so we'll get our Rhyperion to the field for sure. What can we do with Scrafty here? Um, I don't really want to switch. Uh, could I? Can I? Can I? I don't really want to switch Torkoal in just yet because I feel like, I mean, it's not a bad idea. I think I'd probably prefer to just get some damage onto the Sableye. And if you can hear a young child shouting in the background, that's, uh, that'll be fear. <laughs> it's bath time, so. Right. Sableye going out. What comes in? Is it immense? Yeah, that's fine. We'll get, get a nice chunk of damage with the, the foul play onto there. Now, if he goes for the Will-O-Wisp into Mimikyu with, with Rotom, which he definitely could do, uh, that'll be not too bad. Nasty plot coming out. Yeah. It's, it's manageable. Yeah. 
the foul player. That does nice damage to that immense. Now we need to get Scrafty off the field and get something like Mimikyu back onto the field, which we could do, and we could just go for the max rockfall here if we want. And we are minus one. Um, do we worry about? Or I could just, I could just rock slide. I could just rock slide. I mean. Do you worry about Mentz having like something like Max Geyser here as well that could totally catch us out, you know? But I prefer to get... Yeah, I mean... I mean, we could just go back into Mimikyu. Now, now, we need... To, we, uh, the, the threat is too much of a present. Like, we've got to go after the, the Rotom here and switch into... Switch into Mimi. And then get a Trick Room up and then go from there. I wonder if Sableye's coming back in. Blatantly is, yeah. Yeah, okay. But it's still alright because he's still got a little bit of room, you know, to, to, to manoeuvre. Even if they've got the Will-O-Wisp, right? We just need to get rid of the Rotom. Because the Rotom is a big threat to us, of course. And the next time we could maybe just scout the, Mim the, the, uh, the Sableye going for... the taunt again and just play rough into it and then that with the residual damage should get rid of it you know but we got to max our Rhyperia you know we are minus one it's not ideal but the rockfall will still be doing an absolute chunk of damage to this Rotom so it depends how he's calc it and obviously if it's got the charty or something like that then it does make things a little bit more tricky for us but Rhyperia not really threatened too much even by the nasty plot Rotom although you could have something like Dark Pulse which makes it a little bit more difficult to deal with there's a Max Flare coming out okay into Mimikyu we take that pretty well like a champ but we do lose our disguise in the process which isn't ideal but it's not the worst thing in the world because Mim Mimikyu going to be able to outspeed that Rotom this next turn um We get the rock fall. Yeah. And if he hasn't got the citrus there, then another one of these will do the job. Another one of these will do the job. But then you could imagine that maybe the mens comes in. But again, it, the mens isn't like a great switch in to... Um, yeah, we've got the rock fall we can go for here. I'm hoping he goes for... Yeah, he's going to have to taunt. Yeah, we play rough. He's going to have to taunt the Mimikyu, I think. Unless he switches the mens in to get another Intimidate onto the Rhyperia, which... Would make sense, but that Rotom's definitely in range to go down. So we'll see. Let's see what he's thinking. I wonder if the Ment will come in, you know? Because, like, the, the minus two would make sure that the Rotom does survive. It will probably proc. Maybe a berry. I'm wondering what items on it. Maybe safety goggles, though. That's the thing. Like, safety goggles would make total sense. Yeah, the men's coming in here. Play rough's going to be able to get rid of the men's, which is fine. And he's done the right thing, you know. He's he's like... And he'll be able to get the return on the Mimikyu, so should, shutting down our potential trick room mode, which is, uh, which is great. Because you're going to go after the Mimikyu here, of course. But... Yeah, we're not going to be able to get... We're not going to be able to pick the knockup out. Minus two, I don't think. Max Flare coming out again. Should be enough to get the Mimi this time. Plus two. Yeah, no doubt about it. Um, okay. Yeah, well, we're kind of forced the next turn to bring Scrafty in rather than Torkoal. Um Because we don't want the sun being on the field. That's the like the one thing that we don't really want to have to, to deal with. Uh, yeah, just surviving. So, we want the Sandstorm in effect. Let's see, does it actually... We'll be able to tell. We should have... Uh, yeah, he's got the safety goggles. You can tell. You can tell. Safety goggles is there. Because uh, he's not taking any residual damage, which makes a bunch of sense. Um, now, he could max guard this last turn. I don't know if it's really worth it, though. And the Sableye. It's a Sableye got. I don't think Sableye is going to be able to get an attack off, unfortunately. And it's going to come down, you know... This is the problem. This is the problem. I think it comes down to him having him having a Raquinid in the back and then having the rain dance and just wiping us out. Or maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe not. Because we taunt we taunt the Sableye now, okay? 
We have to taunt it now. We have to do it. Like, Scrafty has to survive, but I'm not feeling super confident we take the max. We don't take the max flare. Shadow Sneak coming out. It, they, he wants to remove this, this Scrafty. Like, the Assault Vest would be the play here for us because we'd probably take it then, but I just don't think we take it now. Nah. Nah, it's too much. It's too much. It's too much. And we can't get the taunt off, which is a little bit of a shame. Now, we could have went for a fake out maybe there into the Rotom, but I still don't think it would have been enough. Um, right, P Ray minus two. Now, we still have a play. We still have a play that we can do. It's going to be very difficult. Yeah, it's going to be very difficult because, yeah, we can't We can't even, like, no. If it's a Raccoonid, we're done because he's got Rain Dance and that's going to be it. That will be it, like, completely. Because as even though we've got Sunny Day, we need we li literally need to have the taunt on the Sableye because they just pranks the taunt. Ooh, okay, it's the P2. Happy days. Prefer to see that. Um, gets a special attack boost, which isn't great. Okay. Tokol, it's down to you, my friend. Unless we see, uh, unless we see rain dance again, we're probably going to see rain dance. Um, let's just rock slide. It's our strongest uh, earthquake is, but we want to try and double attack, don't we? Um, do we weather ball here, or do we just? I just think we heat wave for this first turn. The P two getting the special attack boost. Yeah, there's the rain dance. We should have weather balled. Weatherballed. Um, yeah, special attack boost not helping us out massively, especially because we've got no special defense boosts either. I mean, if you're relying on try attack though as your only option, then it's not too bad. Oh, the freeze. The freeze. The freeze. Oh, <laughs> oh no. <gasps> That's not ideal. That is not ideal at all. We get the crit on Sableye. Um, okay, well, I'll try and protect and thaw out, I guess. That would be helpful. I don't know if we can beat the P2 minus two with, um, with Rhyperia, though. I don't feel like we can. Unless, like, the only option that the, 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 the Porygon 2's got is try attack, then we may, may stand it. We may stand a chance. See how much this does. This will probably knock us out. Yeah, but if we can get the Sableye this turn, then that makes things way easier for us. Of course we miss. Of course we miss. Of course we do. Yeah. And we want to see how much the... Um... That is Earthquake. Yeah, that's the option we wanted. Uh, yeah. Hopefully the Earthquake will be enough. Shadow Sneak coming out. Let's see, we take that pretty well. And try attack. Okay, his only option is try attack, so it's going to be a bit of a slugfest, this, really. It does way more damage than what I was expecting it to do resisted, you know, that plus one. And us on minus two. There's just no, there's no win in this. We need a crit, and I don't think it's going to happen. Well, <clears throat> not starting off in the best fashion, to be honest, but... We'll keep we'll keep the dream alive. Okay, the burn really not great, but revealing the lumberry there. So at least he's got that information going into game two, which which may or may not be good, you know. Yeah. And another two try attacks are going to take us down. Where uh, maybe one. We could try the freeze ourselves, you know. He's first one of our Pokemon. Let's try and freeze him. That might be enough. That might be a way out for us. Okay. Maybe if we can get the freeze, you know, that'll definitely be a way out for us. We probably should have been gone for, uh, from the start, but I kind of needed to remove the Sableye as soon as possible. Get the freeze. Freeze, 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 freeze. I don't want to just give this match up either. I feel like if I got one, like, zero one behind, then... It, it, it's gonna get very yeah and we've only got we've got literally one chance to freeze now and this is it we've got one chance to freeze and this is it so 
power up this this ice punch of yours right here and let's see what you can do because in two try attacks will take us down plus two is just too much come on can we get the freeze come on come on come on right here one chance no freeze no freeze no so we are running away good game game one Jin, not the best start for us he switched around well made it difficult the double intimidate onto the mens was just uh, on from the mens onto the right here was just too difficult especially for the end game and it, being able to deny our trick room so so well made it very difficult for us because we committed hard to that trick room that game so um food for thought i think right period did well mimikyu i mean yeah we just couldn't the the problem is the um the mimikyu the the uh the sorry the the rotom heat that's the big issue and that was always a kind of the the forefront of like a thinking you know um Okay, let's lead Scrafty. We need Scrafty as a lead for the fake out. Could lead Charizard. But it doesn't really make much sense. We just need that offensive threat. I think we bring Venusaur to the... No, we can't. We need the Trick Room. We need the Trick Room in case he brings the Iraq on it, which is the problem. Um, Although Venu would be... Not bad, you know. It's just we need the Trick Room. That's the only thing. We're like desperate for the trick room. Okay, I think we lead. Yeah, let's go Venu. Let's go Mimikyu, Venu, Torkoal, and right here. I think Venu mixes it up a little bit. We might see, we might see him bring the men to the same lead as what we saw in game one. It worked out well for him. <laughs> the rotten heat was always going to be an issue, I think, for us because. Like the Araquanid, we know it's a, a massive issue, but the Rotom Heat again can be such an issue for us. Um, well, the Araquanid coming out is not the worst. And doesn't mind about the rain either. And we can put Araquanid to sleep. Or we can get a Trick Room up. Um. We could just start the max train, couldn't we? We could start the max train. And like double into the Araquanid. Because he's probably going to taunt us, right? G Max Vine Lash, let's do that. And let's go for a Phantom Force into the Araquanid. Because if he does max, it's likely he goes. Uh, he may, yeah, he probably does go after the Mimikyu, like Shadow Sneak, double into us. And if he's going for the Rain Dance, he might be locked to, to go for the Rain Dance, you know, here, because he might think, no, oh, Torkoal could switch in, it could be pretty, pretty iffy, you know. Problem with the rack when it is though, it hits like an absolute truck. It's disgusting, especially in the rain. Like we cannot allow the rain to keep like coming up. And the rain dance isn't so much of an issue once the rack when it's gone. So that's something to kind of think about as well. Uh, obviously not having our intimidate here is not great. There's a taunt. Oh, it's into Venusaur stopping us. Okay. Got that Phantom Force. She'll just get us out of harm's way for a turn at least anyway. So I'm hoping we can kind of Capitalize on that at least. And the Vine Lash, not the worst damage in the world. But obviously, we can't get our sun up this next turn. Max Flutter by. Okay. Venusaur. Nasty, nasty, nasty damage. Nasty damage. But the residual damage is going to start chipping down. Um, and the other option, of course, we've got here is just to go after that. Just to go after the Sableye, you know. And just get damage onto that thing. Because we shouldn't lose our Mimikyu here. I think the only attacking option that that Sableye's got is Shadow Sneak. So it can't hit us here. So it's just a disguise getting broke. If they want to commit into that slot, at least, you know. Um, the Phantom Force should do decent damage to the Araquanid. 
There's the rain dance. So it's tied up this turn. It's wanting to get some big damage onto the, the Mimikyu, but obviously we still have a sky, so I'm not worried about it there. Obviously Venusaur is going to take an absolute pound in, I think. Yep. That's what we want. And now we need to shadow Phantom Force into that, that save lie slot the next turn. Yeah. Venu. Yep. Okay. Well, we lose Venu. And then we need to bring in Rhyperia, which is not going to be great in the rain. But I tell you what we do, actually. What we do. I've got a plan. I've got a plan, Stan. Okay. Well, the Sableye is going to drop the next turn, okay? So, what we do is we bring in Rhyperia. We can do this. We can do this. We can do this. We can do this. Yeah. And then we... We protect... We... No, no, no. We don't protect to do any anything like that. We switch straight out to our Pasha Berry Torkoal. And then we go for another Phantom Force into the Araquanid. And I'd imagine here the Sableye may go for a, a Shadow Sneak. Maybe. Maybe. But the Phantom Force will then be able to get the Araquanid the following turn. So, you are going to go for the Max Geyser or the Rain Dance here, potentially, I think. Quash. Fails. Phantom Force. Yeah, that's perfect. Max Geyser. Yeah, that's fine though. It's fine because we should be able to clear the field now. Like, you know? And I think it's a little easier in the end game with the tools that we got left, where we still got a trick room as an option, especially with the lack of a uh, taunt that's going to shut us down now. Although the P2 can come in and kind of reverse our trick room if, if it wants to. Um. But the Phantom Force is going to be able to take down that Araquanid. So it has to switch out this next turn. Which it potentially could do into something like uh, P2. But we're pretty safe in whatever we do with Torkoal. Just switching it out. Because we're going to move before the Araquanid. So we've got to depend on what comes in. Yeah, the Salamence. So this is pretty good for us, right? Where we we can switch a Torkoal out to Rhyperia now. Preserve our sun. Get rid of the Araquanid. Mimikyu still got its disguise. So we're sitting in a pretty good place right now. So in you come, Rhyperia. And then we Phantom Force. Bye-bye, Araquanid. Goodbye, Spider. Spider-Pig. Araquanid switching out. P2 coming in. And yeah, yeah. Yeah, 100. It's a nice play. It makes a lot of sense, you know. Special attack boost, not ideal. But we've got one more turn of residual damage. So, the, the chip here is nice. Mimikyu avoids. And, yeah. Right, Pyrrha taking that like a true champ. Like a true champ. And uh, P2 avoiding like a true champ as well. Okay. We've got a pr pretty free... Um... Physical Ments as well. So Dragon Dance. Now we Rock Slide. We could we could potentially Trick Room here as well, you know. But the Ments has to the Ments has to attack the Mimikyu, you know. That's the thing. Like we might be better off preserving our Mimikyu for later on in this match. In all honesty, like we could Trick Room right now. No, I think we just keep it keep it and play rough. I mean, the men's can hit us and break our disguise for sure, right? But the, the P2's got no way to, to deal with the Mimikyu. It's like it's like a, a, an instant win con for us against P2, right? Because they just can't hit us. So we can just play rough, play rough, play rough, play rough. Yeah, so a decent damage there. Try attack into Rhyperia. We know how badly we don't take that. And we flinch. Are you kidding? 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 Um huh. We gotta get the trick room up, I think. Gotta get the trick room up. 
got to try, got to try. Got to try and get this trick room up. Because it makes the matchup a little bit easier for uh, Jill Wingby. Yep. That's better than Rock Slide. Yeah, try attack. Okay, well we get a trick room up, which is fine. Now we're in a bit more of a driving seat, at least. So, we can go Rock Slide. And we can go... Should we go Play Rough? Or should we go Willow Wisp? I think play rough. And then we've got Tokel in the back to bring in when we when we need. Then you're gonna reverse the trick room, of course. So if we get the flinch here, that's like super useful. Oh we get the flinch! We get the flinch! That's so so big for us. We get the flinch. Okay. Um, and now we can rock slide again and go for... Can we trick room on their trick room? I don't think it matters though because as long as we get the ments, like that's all that matters. Like we just need to get the ments here because then like Mimikyu can take down Araquanid before it can attack. And then Mimikyu just wins out against P2. And Toko should have enough health to kind of beat the P2. I'm hoping, hoping. Salomon's going out, okay. Well, Araquanid coming in. Gonna take this rock slide. I think he's identified that the Mimikyu is the big issue here, you know? Could have played rough. It's gonna be a roll, you know? I think it's gonna be a roll. He's gonna try and trick room. Is it a roll? That flinch could have been even bigger than what I thought. No, is it gonna know the flinch? No, he reverses it. Okay, well, we can get rid of the... Mm, we can't get rid of the Mimikyu. We can't get rid of the Mimikyu. Uh, we can't get rid of the um, P2. Because Immense is in a phenomenal spot now. I think we've lost this, you know. I think we have. I think we've lost. Because I don't think Rhyperior... Oh, no, Rhyperior can take another try attack, right? The P2's got to... Yeah, we've got to go Ice Punch into the Immense. We've got to switch out into Torkoal. <clears throat> and we've got to hope that we don't flinch off a rock slide because I think you rock slide and try attack here and I think like that's that you're hoping for a flinch onto onto the right period here yeah so you can get those true tr two try attacks off oh it recovers it recovers oh I don't know if that was the play or not because now we get another chance. We get the Ice Punch, so that's good. Salamence gone. And now P2 is going to have the hardest job because it cannot do anything to the Mimikyu. Um, so, we can just protect. We can bring in... I mean, do we just attack with, with Torkoal here? Or do we just go back into Mimikyu? And then that's it, really. We kind of locked it. Oh, not the most exciting for you guys at home, but I'm trying to eke out a win. And um, at least I can tie it up. Hopefully, you know. Might come to time. It probably will come to time. He's going after the, the Rhyperia. Right, we're going to start things off with switching out, resetting that Intimidate drop. We're going to go for a Will-O-Wisp into the P2 just to get that residual chip onto it every turn. I wonder if he sets up the Trick Room for us. That would be amazing. You know, if you Trick Room now thinking we're going to Trick Room. Oh, come on, Will-O-Wisp. Come on, Will-O-Wisp. I hate you, Will-O-Wisp. Why, why do you not like to hit? Why don't you like to hit? Um... We could protect, to be honest, and just trick room. Let's see if he trick rooms. If he does, then it doesn't matter, I guess. We just... Yeah, he's gone for the try attack or trick room. Then he has to spend a turn trick room in. We will wisp Heat wave, get some nice damage off. Heat wave should do a good, fat, tasty chunk of damage as well, you know? Um, so... And will wisp 
Will -O Wisp. Will -O Wisp. We need that residual chip. He's full health like, so you know. Watch Heat Wave get the burn and just. Ugh, come on. We're wasting time. Wasting. It's waste. So annoying. So annoying. <laughs> I appreciate Toko, but you know. What do you mean? Like, if, if you told me, you could have just played rough there. And it would have made things so much simpler. Uh, the residual chip is going to help, especially if we can get like those cheeky flinches that we know like Rhyperia loves to do. Um, so, rock slide, play rough. Let's see. Can we beat the P2? Can we, can we beat it? We've got to be careful as well, you know, because like. Oh, yeah, if we get one more, uh, I think we can, yeah, he's got it, he's locked in, going for these. If we get one flinch, I think we're, we're kind of all right, you know. That's, that's the, the aim of the game. Yeah. One flinch is all we need, and we've got this. One flinch, one flinch. Come on. Come on, Rhyperia, you know you want to do it. You know you want to flinch. Come on, get that flinch. Get it, get it, get it. Ah, come on. We're putting it closer and closer, though, but the Trick Room turns are going to kind of run out soon, so I think we've got one more after this. Um, we still need that one flinch, but Mimikyu getting these nice, consistent, clear off chunks of damage off, which is always good. Uh, and do, 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 do. Rock Slide again, and we'll go for another play rough, and we'll hope this time, third time lucky, we're gonna get it, we're gonna get it, come on right here, this time is the time that we're gonna get the flinch, and play rough is gonna be enough to pick up the knockout, nah, it's not. I mean, we can set another trick room up and just keep going, you know, um, I think the thing to do, though, is because the... I think we just pressure now with, with Rhyperia, we just con continue to go for these rock slides. Even though the dimensions turn back to normal, we just rock slide now and we trick room. We don't let off the pressure because he's got, he can't afford to attack. He has to keep going for these recovers and we are wasting our attacks, but the damage that we get here is going to be, yeah, like really, really important to us for this next turn. Especially if we just get a, a flinch. We just need one. We just uh, That's all we need. One flinch. Whew. Come on. Come on. Let's do it. Well, we don't want a trick room again. We don't want that. It's 3 minutes 28 left on the battle timer. Here it is. The big flinch. Coming in. Coming in hot. It flinched. We got it. We got it. Got it! Yeah! We can win it now. That's all we need. We're fishing for that flinch. And we can... Yeah, we just... Well, Ice Punch, we don't need to... We don't need to worry about that anymore. And we can just go for another player rough. And that will lock the game up. Nice and tight. Jin not making it easy for us. But we do pull a win back there. You can see it there. Written right, right there. The win. So, 1-1. One, one. Going into game three. And uh, we'll see if we can um, we can we can take the the big W in this one because that that's what it's all about. It's got Venu. I like the Venu Mimi because I think it works pretty well, and I think the Torkoal and the Rhyperia work as well. And that does work for us. It's just the Scrafty. I'd kind of like to squeeze in there. The only thing I could really replace would be the Torkoal, but it doesn't make sense because you kind of need this. Do we need the Sun though? Yeah, it's kind of nice to have the Sun because otherwise we would. I mean, we can put the Araquanid down to minus one for sure. And we may see the Metagross here, you know. That's the other problem. Like, we could see the Metagross in this match. The Metagross could come. Which just, just does worry me slightly. Which would mean we'd need, like, Scrafty Mimikyu. Nah, we'll go with this. We'll go with this. I worry about the Metagross, of course. Because preserving Torkoal against the Araquanid... Like, Araquanid and Metagross in the same four feel like it's nearly going to be, like, impossible to deal with. Metagross! There he is! There he is! A 
shutter sneak. Yeah, shutter sneak weakness policy. Um, but at the same time, we can either put it to sleep, or we can burn it. We can we can burn it, or we can set the trick room up. Or he goes after Mimikyu now. He goes after Mimikyu, I think. So what we do is we go max strike, pull in Torkoal right now, because I need to. I, we need to protect Mimi for late for, for the late game. For the late game. And he could make the play where he goes Shadow Sneak into the Metagross, just trying to wipe out Venusaur here. You know, that could definitely be an option that he goes for. But hopefully he goes Shadow Sneak into the Mimi, maxes Max Steel Spike into that slot, trying to get rid of it because he knows if it comes down to an end game against P2 again. Like, P2 pretty much went out against everything else other than that, that Mimikyu. So, the Max Flare is going to be useful into the Metagross, for sure. The problem is the Rain Dance the next turn, which makes it a little bit more tricky. But, hopefully we can get, like, at least one more attack off with Venusaur. Metagross, go on big, big boy Metagross. The thing is, we still have like the Mimikyu to bring in to kind of utilize that disguise. If we need to just bring something in for fodder, you know, can just give us a bit of room. Taunt into the Venusaur, that's what we want to see. That's what we want to see. How much is this Max Flare going to do? It depends if it's a Salt Vest or not. Oof, it does a nice fat chunk of damage. That is that is great. And then not so great if mm, Okay, Steel Spike, where are we going? Into Yeah. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Because we switch back into Mimikyu, we go for the Vine Lash into the Sableye. Has to rain dance. We should still outspeed the Metagross because we're max speed. And preserve the Torkoal for later on. And Mimikyu comes in kind of... Yeah, and the residual damage there is what we want. And then we can Phantom Force the next turn into the Metagross. And get rid of it that way. So, all going well. That's kind of the plan. Because I'm sure... I keep having to remind myself what items we've got on our... Um, I think we've got the Sash on, on Venus. So I'm pretty sure we have. Pretty sure. Pretty sure. I should really remember. This week's been mental though, because it's just been it's just been I've like all I've had. I've obviously not had much content on the channel. I've just been concentrating so hard on prepping for Players Cup. Players Cup um four that'll be starting tomorrow as as recording this. So there's a rain dance. Yep. Tied you up for a turn. And I think the Metagross is going to go... It's going to go after the Venusaur, I think. We have to go after the Venusaur. I mean, we may not, though. Okay, we should get the, the Sableye this turn. We should get it with that residual damage, which is beautiful if that happens. There's a Steel Spike. Yeah, going after the Venu. So Mimikyu gets back scot-free. We actually take it pretty well. Now we can get the Sun in and get Venusaur. Actually, one more attack off. Get rid of that Metagross this next turn. If we want... Um... So, come on, drop that Sableye. We need to drop it. It hangs on by the skin of its teeth. Hangs on. Uh, not ideal. Okay, we need to max guard here. Oh, we can't because we taunted. We taunted. Um, they're going to shadow sneak us. They're going to shadow sneak us. What do we do? 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 We could set the trick room up now. I think we could probably get the trick room up now. The only issue would be is um, let's vine lash into the Metagross. The only issue is if they double into Mimikyu, which I do worry about. I do worry about. So let's Phantom Force this turn just to, just, just to try. Yeah. No. Okay. Well, this is all right. They're not going to get that last max move off. We still got our son. 
We could have switched into Torkoal there, but I do worry about them going for like Rain Dance that turn to stop us going into like, um, stop us going for the Max Flare again into the Metagross. Um, okay, well, Sableye going down, Metagross will go down this next turn. We can we can guarantee this setup if we want. So we're kind of all right. Do we just bring in? Uh, no, I bring in Torkoal because I, I I think the Mens comes. The Mens definitely comes, and probably a Raquinid as well. You know, I think Raquinid will be there. Let's see what comes in. Is it going to be the Raquin? It'd be a Raquin at P2. That's what it will be. I think that's his best. That's his, that's his most preferred. Most preferred. Two, yeah. It makes a lot of sense. It makes a lot of sense. It makes it more difficult for us to. Um, well, I mean, yeah. I mean, keep the trick room up, in all honesty. That's the problem. Okay, well, you get the Metagross, whatever. They probably liquid go for liquidation into Torkoal. Yeah, we just protect this turn. There's no point of taking the damage. Uh, unless that happens, of course. Yeah, and the P2 comes in, and then uh, this guy gets bust. Yeah. Yeah, and there's a special attack boost by the P2. I don't, yeah, it looked good for a, a, a moment, but I don't think it looks good. Okay, going into the Torkoal, so that's kind of all right, you know. Residual damage going to be heaps of help, heaps of heaps of help. And he's a rack on it's the only thing that he's got that can attack into uh, the Mimikyu here, you know. So, I think we take this turn to Trick Room. Or do we? They may Trick Room themselves. Let's Heat Wave and let's go for... Let's go for a... Let's go for a Phantom Force because the thing is, if they Trick Room here, then they're in a bit of a bind, right? They can't switch the Rack when it out to Metagross. Because the Metagross just goes down. Yeah, they go for this. And then Liquidation. Yeah. That plus two special attack makes it extremely difficult for us to, to deal with. But it makes it... Okay, well, we'll see how much this Phantom Force does to the Araquanid as well. Because it may put it into, like, play rough range, you know? But we can't afford, like, Rhyperia. At this point, we can't allow Rhyperia... No, we can't. We can't. We need to attack. Let's see how many turns of sun we've got. Three. Okay, that's plenty. That's plenty for what we want to do. So we protect this turn. Because they're going to... I think they're going to go for... Uh, uh, it's, the problem is... Yeah, I think they're going to double into Rhyperia. The problem is here, if they don't, and if they go for the liquidation into the Mimikyu, that could make things very tricky for us. Um... Because then they're going to have the liquidation, which can prevent us trick rooming. Because we really want to be in that that same situation as before, right? Where we've got like, oh, that's 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 tasty damage that we can pick up the knockout this next turn. Okay, they're doubling into the Rhyperia. Okay, that's <gasps> oh, they've trick room for us. No way, 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 no way. That is what we want to see. That is exactly what we want to see. Now we just rock slide. And we play rough. They've got to protect the Araquanid though. We hit. I wonder why he trick roomed there. I wonder why he trick roomed. I don't know. I don't really know. If we flinch the P2 here, we've got the game. <gasps> He's try attacked. No. Like an Earthquake's just going to win us this game now. An Earthquake. We just Earthquake, I think. And we still got our Disguise, so we're fine. Here we just Earthquake. Play rough.
Earthquake play rough. We're done. We're done. I just don't know the trick room there made sense for him. Oof. I feel, yeah, I feel a bit bad. Like, I don't know. I, I'm going to look forward to seeing his, his side of things because I think that really will, like, it'll, it'll really kind of show what he's thinking was at that point in the game where the trick room, what, why the trick room made a lot of sense in that, that situation, you know? So there's the earthquake. But the earthquake should be enough to get the P2 by itself. We're not intimidated. Uh, it'll just break our disguise. Yeah. Um, and then Metagross is going to be in, in, in range to get take another Earthquake and we can just Phantom Force Earthquake and that, that pretty much locks it for us. Um, player I've just gone into the disguise there, the, the, the Protect. But shoosh, somehow we've managed from out of nowhere get the W this week which is which is amazing, you know, and, and going 1-1. One, one. But all I can say is, like, huge, huge, huge props to Jin there. Like, what a great match. He really took me to the sword every single game there. And uh, I, I feel like we got pretty fortunate in that last match when the P2 set the trick room up. Um, which made it very difficult to kind of come back from at that point with the right We are really in a position where it could just kind of stonewall everything. Um, but an amazing opponent. Uh, go and drop... Jin's channel sub give him a lot of love because he has a great channel he does lots of great content as well lots of Pokemon content and um, obviously does a lot of streaming as well so make sure you do check him out but massive props good game to Jin and thank you so much for watching as well everyone hope you've enjoyed this week's uh, game and we'll be prepping ourselves to get back into uh, winning ways again next week with week three i don't know my opponent yet it'd be a surprise so thanks friends have a good one i'm off now to watch england versus scotland come on you whites and uh we'll see if uh we can do it so take care